Hello everyone, this is COADB.com, or the Coat of Arms database, and today we are very briefly going to discuss 10 different coats of arms in the Pierce family. But before we get started, we wanted to let you know that we offer genealogy and ancestral research services at our website. Please visit the link in the description. We are typically able to trace your family's ancestry back several hundred years, and in some cases, pair them up with a proper coat of arms. The first Pierce blazon to discuss is Argent on a chevron sable between three boar's heads cooped of the last, armed, legued, and voned gules. This was recorded in the funeral entry of Captain Edward Pierce, who died in 1665, of County Meath, Ireland, who was buried at Christ Church Cathedral. Next is ermine on a chevron azure between two dragon's heads erased gules and in base upon a mount upon a mount vert a cross cavalry of the third a buglehorn stringed argent. This coat of arms was granted to Hugh Pierce, Esquire of Liverpool in the year 1854. Next is Argent a Fess Humeti between three blackbirds. Crest, a bird holding a twig. This was found on the book plate of Henry Huff Pierce, who was born in Barton, Vermont, USA in 1836, the son of Aaron Pierce and his wife, Sarah Huff. Azure on a fess argent, three pellets between as many pelicans or crest, an arm embowed in armor, holding an arrow in pale, the shaft resting on the wreath. This belonged to a Pierce family from Penzance, Cornwall, and we know that several members of the Pierce family were mayors of the city of Penzance. First, William Pierce in 1683, and then Richard Pierce in 1689 and 94, and then Richard Pierce again in the 1800s. And we know that John Pierce, a gentleman of that city, died in the year 1723. Next is Sable, a chevron wavy, argent between two unicorns, heads erased ore. And this belonged to the Pierce or Pierce family in County Kent, England. Vert on a Ben Cotiste ore, an annulet sable. Crest, a demi pelican ore, volning herself proper, crowned gules. This was found as belonging to Edward Pierce of Parsons Green, Fulham, in Middlesex, England. He was the grandson of John Pierce, Esquire of Glynn, County Sussex. Next, we have a very similar coat of arms that was granted to Major General Thomas Pierce of Whitlingham in County Norfolk on October 20th, 1715. And he was the son of the aforementioned Edward Pierce. In addition to being a military member, Thomas was also Privy Councillor and a Member of Parliament. Here we have Ermine, a leopard rampant, regardant, and in chief, three bees, all proper. This coat of arms was that of Zachary Pierce, born 1690, who was the Bishop of Bangor in 1747, and was later the Bishop of Rochester. Argent, two bars, sable, between six Estoyles gules, three, two, and one. Crest, a dexter arm embowed in armor, 
holding in the hand a lance by the middle, point to the dexter proper. This was granted to Thomas Pierce of Court, Parish Bigby, County Devonshire, on August 12, 1641. And lastly, for the purposes of this video, there are many more coats of arms for this surname and its spelling variants. Vert, a bend nebulae plain cotized or a canton ermine thereon a trifoil of the last of the field. Crest, a fern break thereon a pelican in her piety, wings elevated proper, charged on the breast with the trefoil vert. This coat of arms was granted to Elias Pierce, Esquire, of Thurleys in County Tipperary, the third son of Captain Daniel Pierce, born 1661, of the Cork, Ireland militia, who served under King William III in the Irish War. And this family descended from Nicholas Pierce of Plimpton, or Plumpton St. Mary. If you enjoyed this video and would like to discover who your ancestors were and whether or not they owned a coat of arms, please visit us at coadb.com. Thank you very much.